question was posed, what to do if I'm put in a trunk? Let's go all the way up to how did you get put in a trunk? Do you resist at 1,000%? When, that, when he picks you up, physically picks you up, and let, let me actually go back, I'm going to tell you a story uh, that relates to being put in a trunk that has nothing to do with being put in a trunk, and you'll understand what that means. I was fishing one time, and I caught something really big. I didn't know what it was. I was hoping it was a grouper, something we could eat. It ended up being a really big shark. And we had a great idea. Let's get it on board, okay? It, as soon as it was, on, it was on board, the first thing everyone was screaming was, Get it off the boat! Get it off the boat! It was wrecking stuff. Mm -hmm. Things were flying everywhere. Seat cushions were going everywhere. His scales were enough to mess up everything on the boat. And we, we grabbed him by his tail and all of us threw him off the boat. That's you. You're the shark. They're the fisherman. You get put in the trunk as a Cobra student. First thing you do is you fight till the end to not get put in the trunk. You sacrifice a limb. Stick a leg out. Stick a leg out and hook that toe while he's trying to close it. Mm. Create opportunity. Buy time. Go to your back and see how big or how, how strong your lower body is and put your feet in the air. Let him try to close the trunk on you. Take, if you have a purse, sling it out of the trunk and hold on to it. All right? Because it cannot close appropriately. So we want to go all the way up to not letting the trunk close. Not getting there in the first place. Fighting before I get put in the trunk. Okay, I'm actually being lifted up. Being put in the trunk doesn't happen as often as you think. However, it can if you are bound and gagged by several men and you're thrown in there. But bounding and gagging takes time. If you are a COBRA student and you put yourself in a position where that happens, I'm disappointed in you. Okay? So let's hope that never happens. Let's just say it's get in the trunk or I'll shoot you. All right? If you haven't had your firearms training and you haven't gone that route yet, you don't know how to take a weapon, that's, that might be something you'll do. And we'll go, we'll flash to what happens inside the trunk. But can you imagine being put in that trunk and he goes to close it and all he sees is sneakers going up and he can't do it? Do you think with all the might you have and all the adrenaline that you can muster that you can keep doing that for a while? I think you can. I think you can put an arm out and let it hit. Mm -hmm. You can crawl out. You can put up a fight. You can be that shark in the boat that doesn't want to be caught. Boom, it shuts. Brake lights have their own housing. Focus on the brake lights with your feet. Kicking, kicking, kicking. You're not going to be able to squeeze out of there. I'm driving as the bad guy thinking, oh my god, what is going on in there? Okay, she's causing a scene. There are people behind most cars, right? So you're getting the bad guy's attention. He's kind of all over the road, and his brake lights are flying out. Because they're not hard, they're not hard to push out. Mm -hmm. There's a housing and they actually will come out. And you can force them out. You can break the bulbs. If it's at night, that's to your advantage. So you're kicking that way. You're kicking against the back seat. Some of the back seats will actually lay down. You're putting them on notice that he's got a fighter. You're also looking in the trunk for weapons. I don't know about you, but every one of you have junk in your trunk. <laughs> what you do? In my, the bed of my truck, did anyone do any profiling out there? What do I have in the bed of my truck? Real quick. A what? No, I don't have an umbrella. Five, you have five seconds and I will give you a free shirt. Three, two, one. I have what? In the bed of my truck. That's my trunk. I have no tool box, you're guessing. I had fishing poles, a bait bucket. This was back there after I drive around on my boat. I like to lube everything up. If you find something like this in the trunk, go ahead, open it. You have to open it to get to me. Go ahead, open it. You're in the trunk and you're being transported alive. To get to you, is he going to shoot through the trunk? You have to be alive when he opens it. Am I right? Yes. Don't disagree with me. He's going to open it. Oh, good. I can find. Oh, you're tired. You're asleep. No, you're armed. That trunk's going to have it. Now he's a criminal. Okay? So it's not. One piece of carpet with a tire. You can find something in a trunk. While you're beating those brake lights down, something falls off, you use it. You look and search in your pockets and you look for keys. You take your necklace off, you use it for a choking device. You take, men, take your shirt off, you pop out of there like that guy on uh, The Hangover. And they found him. Ah! Uh, it's funny, but guess yeah. what? You are, you've been yeah. put in a place where you have a tactical advantage. You're gonna surround me with weapons. Give me time to think. Allow me to make a 911 call while I'm in the trunk. Hey, I have been abducted. It was a black car. I don't know where I'm going, but you better get every unit on the road now. I'm alive and I got a signal. 
I'm looking for weapons, and I'm telling you, when this thing opens up, I'm going after them. I want to see one of you here when you get here. There's crowbars, chains. I, what else did I have in the back? Some of you guys wanted to key on. What was in the back of my car? Cables. Jumper cables. <laughs> Heavy-ended, whipping device. How worth it are you to him to keep this charade up? Okay? You're obviously being taken somewhere because he wants more than your watch. Either he wants to kill you because you were driving a Ferrari and I gotta get rid of you. I can't do it on 19. I gotta find some woods. I gotta get you there. I don't wanna hold you. You're too big of a guy. I gotta shoot you out in the woods. I gotta keep you alive for a minute. Or I gotta take you somewhere and do something special with you. We're gonna go on our first date, okay? But I gotta keep you alive to do it until I'm done. That's that's the mentality. That's the bad guy. I'm letting you know what they think. They're gonna put you in a little a little compartment with a bunch of different weapons, time to think and time to call the police. You kick his brake lights out, you hit the back seat, you make your calls if you got your cell phone, you look for weapons, you dig in your purse, you, if you find, if you uh, have your, whatever, your broken CD, if you do have your pepper spray, if you can find some in the trunk, you better be prepared to use it. Because you're not going anywhere where there's a witness at this point. You understand that, right? These are the last moments of your life. You better act like it. I will not sit here and say, well, take out a power tool and cut a hole in it and jump out at 80 miles an hour. You know, why don't you go ahead and pick the lock? I literally read a self-defense safety tip guide that said that. What you need to do is take the red wire off of the brake light. Are you kidding me? Chevy, Toyota, Lexus, Subaru. You tell me you got it down, you're going to have a civilian read this or anyone. I don't care how hard you train. You got a guy that works in assembly line that you abduct and put him in the trunk, he still won't be able to undo the lights and unscrew them and do all this. It was, you literally were working on a car at this point. It was the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. So you guys fight like crazy. You're that shark in the boat. This isn't gonna happen to me. You touch me, I will bite you. Get me out of this boat before I make it a bad experience for everyone on board. So that's a good story to relate to that. Did I answer your question?